This is good. I love it. My name is Asitonka Agri Abba and the channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> once again if you are new here thank you so much and to all my ogs you're the gang comment down below let me know gang gang all right so today we're going to be talking about how to plan your own wedding so if you have friends that are getting married if you have people that just got engaged if you have people that are working with a budget that you say you know what i just want to know what to think a lot of people even when they come for our services they're like where do i start so this is the video you want to share it and then if you watch it and any part resonates with you or you love the points i'm giving please be sure to subscribe and like the video so let's get right into it well, let us just appreciate the clip that i played the first clip with the bride coming in on water like that is amazeballs for those of you that do not know that is nigeria it happened in nigeria like just amazing just just amazing and um for people that will be like oh my god you know this is so gang gang how can i do it my budget does not match up i want to let you know that there are ways you can tweak your budget to make your wedding seem like you spent so much but you didn't spend that much fam i think that wedding happened in la la, uh, la capine tropicana and it was a small beach wedding but you see that just from that clip that well thought out entrance with the whole speedboat escorting her own batch and just that clip if you see where they landed you see that it's a small wedding they were gathered at the beach you can do that wedding for 50 guests beach wedding after the joining they just move like maybe let's say few meters to the left or the right that's where you kept like a, a long banquet table for um, dinner and they have games and they have things like you can make your wedding exciting my problem is most of the people we advise to use this route no they don't want they have too many people to impress rich people don't have people to impress you in fact if a rich person does a tiny a small wedding they'll say oh they just want it intimate but you see people that don't have that much budget they're like no if i do this kind of wedding people will think it's because i don't have money so what so what like you're going to watch this video i want you to watch it with an open mind don't allow anybody to guilt trip you into going into debt for wedding Re let me say it again don't allow anybody to guilt trip you into collecting loan for wedding wedding is not a business do you understand it's only a business for us because i mean you're paying decorator you're paying this or it's their own business but it's not a business venture for you a lot of people say and eh, let me do wedding they'll spray me money people don't spray like that though how many friends you get <laughs> are you davido are you a big cubana why are you making why are you hoping on your friends like this you'll be disappointed uh -huh. so marry because this is what you want to do and wed within your budget it helps a lot let's talk about the second one all right so the second clip i showed which was those list of um tweets that somebody had put out for her friend that had um a problem with the with the venue she didn't have a planner their dj was sent back because they have their own dj people had to pay for her most times when you want to do a wedding and say no i don't need a planner sometimes even before they come to us they have paid for her they did not ask question i just like the whole you understand so i've done a video where i talked about the things you should ask before you choose a venue i would do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if i should do an updated video because a lot of venues keep changing their policies so let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i will do that video so step by step the things you need to ask your venue before you pay wedding is a lot of money weddings events it costs a lot of money for you to just not read so i'm going to be listing several things you need to note if you're going to be planning your event by yourself okay point number one be focused be organized you cannot say you want to plan your event by yourself and you're a scattered person don't waste your time don't waste your time you forget ah you will forget be focused and organized be the kind of person that you first of all you need to have a list you need to have a list of all the vendors you need to have a list of all the things that you want to do you need to have a checklist you need to have a timeline and you also need to have a list a budget list you can have this on excel sheet i'm working on it maybe probably to get like um an excel sheet i'll provide it in my um my mentions so people can just download for free let me know if you're interested there are so many things i'm working on god just help me with this my busy schedule if i can do maybe an excel timeline that i use um so that you can check each step okay 
pain this one pain this one most of the timelines that probably you can find on pinterest are just set for um most of these abroad weddings that you see okay one year timeline in nigeria people appear three months to their wedding and like planner oh yeah i have a wedding so i've done a wedding for two weeks two weeks timeline i've done a wedding for three months one month we've done several weddings i've done for five days yes five days they called me she called me monday monday midnight the wedding was saturday <laughs> so we have things like that but for those um situations the most important thing is money whoever controls the funds is the main event planner it's not even us because if you have the money i can do your wedding in one week if you have the money you don't have i don't have strength to be waiting for who is paying who and who is going to pass through who see if the creator says this amount bring less pay if this one says this amount bring less pay that one you can now or oh, hand take maybe one week or one month to do your event and you say okay what are for clothes most times these these vendors for clothes uh -uh. if i go and meet certain people oh they are booked they are booked if i double double the money sure you have the money who we'll double the money they will create space uh -uh. leave all this talk <laughs> point number two is have a budget and stick to it you cannot just come and say oh i don't know what i want but i know that i want a wedding have a budget what is your budget and stick to it simply because you see on bella ninja that oh this person does this outfit or that person does that outfit i want to use this person you look at elizabeth El 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 let's say a vendor like elizabeth and Le, she makes fantastic dresses do you have the budget for elizabeth don't go and kill your husband because you want elizabeth and lace i would save you i'll say maybe most of them um, like particularly elizabeth and lace she collects in dollars so we're looking like from one eight to five even somebody let me even deliver you because another another set of people might be shouting yes yeah, so tell them eh, small wedding all these people doing big wedding where well, it's good to have a good marriage you know people that always drop those comments don't allow poverty to cage your mind amen don't allow poverty to put you in a box people have money I repeat people have money and you that you you're planning a wedding that maybe you want to look down on a vendor and say okay uh, i have money you don't have no 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 calm down every client bring your chest down bring down your shoulder bring it down so why you're busy thinking that oh people don't have i was talking to a, a client friend of mine and she said one particular dress that somebody made so we're talking to she went to try dresses and um she touched the dress and the person was like oh the bride that made the dress um is for four thousand dollars i think four thousand or four thousand five just the just the gown they didn't make it a bro it's in nigeria people pay four thousand dollars for their wedding gown it's not food we have not counted food so by the time you're feeling proud know that your entire wedding budget might be somebody's decoration less it's not it's not that they took loan no they just have money don't be angry because people have money because most times when i see that i don't think it's coming from a place of you liking the poor instead of doing big wedding let's give to the poor they don't necessarily like the poor they just do not like the fact that people are spent you can't tell somebody what to use their money for so even if you as a person that wants to plan this budget wedding now don't be how will i put it don't be saying oh because i'm doing budget the ones that do not do budget wedding they are not thinking well you know how people are always finding a way to one up the next person don't don't bring that attitude it will it will destroy your mind uh -huh. you simply because his budget does not mean it's bad and simply because somebody else did luxury in fact no budget pay as much as you want does not mean it's waste it's just preferences okay remember to have a budget and stick with it very important Point number three that brings us from that budget be realistic i know that you imagine that simply because i will even tell you the amount that will work last year cannot work this year especially for certain things things have gone up so much so that that your budget hope it is realistic be realistic when you see that your budget cannot bend the first thing i always tell my clients is to reduce your guest size reduce your guest size i beg you to reduce it i'm going to also be giving painting a perfect um a scenario for how you can manage a small budget wedding beginning to end once again because i know i've done it in one of my videos i cannot remember but i'll paint it towards the end of this video so please keep on watching let's get to the fourth point all right so the fourth point is out of all these vendors that you have written out find one person get that person okay so if it's a decorator if it's a photographer somebody that you know okay the person falls within your budget range get that person okay and so i've gotten that person now the next important tip that i can give you is to ask that person for recommendation it always helps so you get the makeup artist that okay this is the budget i have oh please do you know any photographer let them use their own you know their own experience and their own um 
clout that they have gathered been in the industry for that long to suggest other people for you it will help reduce the fact that you have to call each person and have to now pray to god that they are knowledgeable you know it helps you just say okay makeup do you know any photographer i can use any videographer see my budget i don't have so much you get before you get photographer makeup and this fine as you talk to photographer now you vibe you ask photographer please oh do you know any of this person and this person and this before you know through your vendors you can get other vendors make sure you always tell the vendors i got your name from so xyz it puts them on their toes so that they can deliver knowing fully well that it was based on a referral because if you just get them and you do not know man we really don't know because sometimes you know i've told people before vendors have coins coin same way some clients have coins coin vendors too can have their own so very important tip make sure you get a vendor or a planner to help somebody that you can talk to someone you can pick their brains and say what do you think about this and that and also you can run your timeline by them they will tell you what works they have been in the industry okay so the next point you have to make sure to find out if your venue has required vendors remember from the slides that i put before the video one of the main issues was the vendor the the venue had a required dj dj that you must use so we have some certain venues that have that as how would i even put it they have that as complementary it's not compulsory it comes with your with your payments but if you don't want to use it, it's like going to a hotel they have complimentary breakfast you must not eat it but it's there whether or not you say okay i don't want the dj it doesn't reduce the whole price okay but it's there so for this particular hall i do not know why their required dj must play because most times when we have those issues we also tell them yes i know you have a required dj but we want our own dj we are going to pay you normal pay you and everything you know the cost that covers the dj but we don't want the dj we have our own dj so the client was wrong to not have asked proper questions okay which leads us to our next point. I said ask questions read your contract read the contract and read it and read it again make sure you are reading it all because you do not have any planner that has worked with these people or has read their contract severally or you know can just easily call them and get one or two information so if you're planning your event by yourself make sure you read the contracts very well know the photographer when is he bringing the album how many albums are you getting how many um, frames are you getting at what time what is the process when am i getting this when am i doing this for the decorator when am i giving you this when is your balance payment how much is up front these are things that you need to have in that your folder like I said, you have to be an organized person. You have to have all these details in your folder. Every single thing for what the photographer needs, for what the um, cake person needs, what the caterer needs, what is the caterer bringing. I have a video where I did about um, the caterers, what they are bringing, what you should ask. Please, all these different videos, please just check it out so that you can be better informed about the questions you need to ask each vendor. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section if I should redo it like every single vendor. I think that is going to be like a whole... It, it might take more than three videos to do what you should ask every single vendor. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so I will consider it. Let's get to the next all point. Right, so the next point is now that you've gotten all this information, have a list. Have their contacts, have their schedules, have their payment plan, have that list so that you can know what to start with, okay? Have that list written down. You know their quotes. You have seen that all the quotations you have gotten is within your budget, okay? If your wedding is not so far off, I recommend that you start paying, especially if you get the first quotes, the priority items, okay? That leads us to the next one. Something I call the production items. Those are the things like your wedding gown, if you're doing like a bespoke, those things that you need to make start with it your traditional married dresses you know start with those production items after production you can go to selection items the things you need to select let's say your decorator you need to go back and forth i want this fly i want this one i want this one then you go to shelf items let's say things you need to just pay for and it comes okay pay for fireworks or pay for this thing or pay for cake and just send the cake picture and they bring it you get so make sure you divide your items into priority the first vendors i think you should be paying is your uh, venue photo video decor makeup hair very important those are your six key vendors you pay first even though these vendors do not necessarily stay within the production items i think for most events those are your key vendors especially when you've gotten people that you like you do not want to lose them because as you're asking another person's asking make sure you get these ones on lock first before you now pay and maybe start making your dresses and the rest afterwards you start paying others one step at a time make sure to follow your list and follow the the schedules okay All right, so the next point is to trust your vendors you have booked them you have arranged everything please trust your vendors it is important you have already paid them you have 
um, gotten recommendations these are the people you're working with trust your vendors trust them you can and i always tell you one of the ways to even get even much more than you paid for is to be nice i could like i don't even think that this is something we should be begging people at this point be nice to your vendors now that you're, you're planning your wedding by yourself be very nice call them you know when you're talking with them okay nah, that's nice gist let me tell you the truth it works every single time no matter how much you're nice to me, if you're not nice to the vendors, they're the ones producing the bulk of the things. They know that my event, of course, they can't do it anyhow. But I would rather everybody's happy because there's a, there's a kind of um, efficiency that comes with when these vendors are happy. That is different from when they're just doing it because it's a job. I do not like that. You know, you could know I like working with vibes. So if you're even going to do your wedding by yourself, make sure you work with vibes. It will help you to calm down. Especially if you have anxiety, you have nerves, and your vendors are happy, they're hailing you. I mean, it will help you to calm down, okay? Remember this point. is very, very important. Trust your vendors. So let's get to the next point. Have a day of coordinator. No matter how you want to plan this wedding by yourself, the moment it gets to a week or two to your wedding make sure you have a coordinator make sure you have ushers make sure you have a friend a sister that will pick up your wedding let's say a week or two to the date so that you can rest if you break down for your wedding it doesn't save any cost the money the money you'd, you'd have used to go to hospital you'd have paid that person that will be your coordinator get a, a coordinator that will run through all your um list check every item all the things you're getting if you're renting all the things you're expecting if you, there are things you ordered you know to track your packages and all of that very important to get and always get somebody like maybe a friend or a cousin or a sister somebody that is very trustworthy to um also to supervise even if you get a coordinator get somebody to supervise from your family okay that will supervise remember what i said about picking money make sure you have gotten the people that will pick money very very important make sure on that day you get ushers very important no matter how you want to skimp on your budget make sure you have ushers it will help these ushers can also coordinate for you these ushers are very important also get bouncers you can get two even if you're not getting so many two or three very very important at the end of the day because there's no need having um gone through all this hassle and um on that day the coordination is poor planning is important but planning is 60 percent coordination proper coordination is what crowns every planning that we have been doing so coordination is very important so make sure on that day you get people to coordinate which leads us to the last so the last point is relax relax i know you are madam ocd you have to be in control relax most people have funky ass pictures because they refuse to relax they are there raising nose making sure this is your wedding <laughs> every hour every minute every second counts the moment that day clocks you're done the moment you hand over to coordinators and supervisors you're done nobody should call you nobody just leave them You've already written out all the schedules and everything that you want them to follow. Just trust them. Do not hound on them. Anybody that needs to ask you again for detail by that time does not know their job. Anybody that needs, just make sure that, see, if you can, usually we have schedules that you can ask, okay, you can tell them, oh, I want my makeup artist to come by five, this person to come by six, this person to come by this, take, see their number. By that time, start calling them and start sorting it out. So it's not a situation whereby the makeup artist is on her way and she's calling you to tell her she's on her way. Why is somebody calling you to tell you makeup artist is on her way? Are you going to drive her? Are you going to clear the traffic? You understand, some stupid calls are not necessary. So make sure um, on that day, surround yourself with people that know that you need to relax whatever is happening with the hall or oh, decorator said there's no light the hall people they are not putting on gen these are things that can happen they don't need to call you somebody else should pick the call and sort it out hey the drink person said the ice block person said that they have not produced they are bringing by eight o'clock it's fine they should bring it and they should sort it out like make sure that what you anticipate all the mishaps and then start thinking of ways to solve it long before that time because mishaps can happen you understand even when events are properly planned mishaps will happen but your ability to be able to rise above it and solve it that's what makes you a fantastic person okay so now that you're planning your wedding by yourself let's talk let's run through it though um if you do not have so much money i always say make sure your clothes your photographer your uh, makeup artist is on point very important just go to court let me do the least like i don't have money kind of person your husband definitely has a suit okay that's fine your husband has a suit um you can go to church you can wear it on a tuesday okay 
very bomber's makeup um if your church also does this you know some churches have the court affiliation so they do the court wedding just go tuesday find pictures that morning makeup artist comes to your room does your makeup that's where your money goes to tell her see the budget you know just your makeup make sure that you use good makeup go and rent the gown you don't need to use flower that is so plastic I'll just use a nice simple bouquet you can use color lilies you can use simple everything should be simple and very fine it can work it's just that the people that are always gingery no i don't have so much money but you know plenty of people why are you knowing plenty of people on 500k budget what what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean by five million for 500 people what kind of wedding? He said, no, I see it can work. Eh? But why do you know 500 people? It's, it, it will work, oh, but it's not the, I cannot do it. Me, personally, I cannot work. Because I'll be lying. How much is hall decoration for 500 people? How much is food for 500 people? Those 500 people, they will need drink. They will need drink. Get, by the time you start looking at it, 5 million is not as big as you think. At least not anymore. So please, please, and please, if you want a beautiful wedding, these are the things you need to look at. Make sure you look good. You. You that you're saving the money look good. Sharp suits, you know. Your wife, she should rent a fine gown. You can rent a gown that is two-way. Let's say it has a ball and it has a, a, the mermaid under. There's no need to change. Even if you rent a simple gown. There's no need to wear a reception dress. Because most people from, go from fine gown. Now do ugly reception dress. It doesn't make any sense. Um, make sure you invest in like i said a good photographer then when you finish from church you take nice pictures you can take the pictures there in church with cake like somebody has done it and giving takeaway everybody goes home like your your parents guests can go home after church because you have all their souvenirs then you carry your wife and you go to a garden take more pictures call your friends link up at a lounge that lounge now the arrange table you will show up with reception dresses you don't need mic that is too loud because of course they have karaoke mic if you need self dj small dj is there have fun you and your 20 friends or this thing you put meet there you can cut cake there you can do dance there is this one not wedding i'm just see i'm just saying like i can give so many suggestions so many ways but i i seriously feel like the people that need it will do it but the people that keep asking for it they will not do it at the end of the day trust me they will not do it but hope you guys enjoyed this video i remember your girl acid darling if you need anything let me know your thoughts in the comment section below the template if you need them for me to start working on them um for excel and have them as files that you can easily download for free in my um description box please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below everybody that is planning a wedding please share my videos carry a jotter because most times people ask questions and i'm like i've talked about this in a video before why didn't you watch it so as a new darling i know this video was helpful to you please subscribe like this video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys